Niagara Falls, Canada's most popular tourist attraction. 11 million visitors a year come to see the natural splendor. 2,500 come for a different reason. The little wedding chapel is the busiest in town. Here, I do's are big business. Brian and Linda, since you have pledged your mutual vows to each other, it is now my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Ooh. Brian, you may kiss your lovely bride. With over 600 weddings a year, Reverend Karen Hansen and her mother June have to work hard to keep them running on schedule. That's today's list. We've got another one coming in at 10 o'clock. The 11 o'clock. Oh, the 10 o'clock we've just done. That's right. I'm not with it yet. It's too early. Then one at 12. And then we have an elopement coming in at 5. Good morning. The wedding chapel may I help you. It says Anglican Independent. How is it different from any other Anglican church? Oh, it's a long, long story. <laughs> I really, and I really don't have time to go into it today, but it's, it was a breakaway from two, two bishops broke away from each other in 1931. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh, thank you. You're more than welcome. I can't go into the history of the church this morning. The natural beauty of the falls is preserved by the Niagara Parks Commission, and whenever there's a VIP tour to be given or a film shoot to be arranged, it's a job for George Bailey, head of communications. I enjoy it. It's, uh, it's like this part of the job, I don't know that if they should really be paying me. <laughs> In the past, He's impressed Princess Diana, Jimmy Carter, and Liberace with his knowledge of the falls. So today's tour with a group of European journalists should be easy. The, uh, white having is the reason. Hello, everybody. I'm not used to being up so high. If you guys have a couple of more glasses of wine, you're going to be up real high, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to take you down around the falls and if we have time, we will take a journey behind Niagara Falls. We just want you to have a good time today. This is not about selling you anything. This is about having some fun. George's visitors may not be impressed by their free tour, but thousands of others are prepared to pay $85 for a 12-minute bird's eye view of the falls. On a clear summer day, Niagara Helicopters does over 100 of these trips. But today, they have some unusual clients. We're actually picking up some um, some very famous movie stars for the Planet Hollywood opening in Niagara Falls. Marketing director Anna Pierce is in charge, and so far, it's not all going according to plan. <laughs> they asked me if Bruce Willis had a work permit to do this concert. And if the red tape doesn't keep him out, something else might. Oh my goodness. This is not good. This is definitely not good. See, right now our winds are from this direction. This right here is actually a severe storm somewhere in central US. And this is the stuff that we're afraid of right here. This is the storm. There's gonna be a hell of a lot of people disappointed if those stars aren't at that opening. 50,000 to be exact. Back at the chapel, the weddings carry on quietly. We're a little older and I'm getting kind of tired of calling her my girlfriend. Oh, of course. You know? <laughs> if anyone present knows a reason why Rick and Mary <laughs> may not lawfully be married, <laughs> take it up with Rick later, okay? Hi, Rick. Take you, Mary. Take you, Mary. To be my wife. To be my wife. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. I, Mary. I, Mary. Take you, Rick. I take you, Rick. To be my husband. To be my husband. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of our lives. To, for the rest of our lives. Rick, you may kiss your lovely bride. 
Yeah, yeah. Don't them keep up. them up, don't drop them. The diamond on Mary's finger is only the first the baseball team will see today. After the wedding, they're off to the ballpark. Time to go play ball, baby. Yeah, yeah. you better bring Mama a home run. <laughs> For Karen and June, there are still seven more innings to play before they can call it a day. On George's turf, the journalists are trying to contain their enthusiasm. We're now traveling the Niagara Parkway, the prettiest Sunday afternoon drive in the world, as Winston Churchill said. The falls is in the distance on the left. You're going to see now the Canadian Horseshoe Falls, so named because of the horseshoe shape. It recedes back 36 centimeters, one foot in 10 years. About 12,000 years from now, it's estimated it will be in Lake Erie. So you can see it's a good thing you're visiting today. One fifth of the world's fresh water supply is traveling down this corridor. Across town, it's business as usual. The, uh, the fee for uh, a renewal of vows covers the minister's service, the use of the little wedding chapel. It has all the silk flowers in it. Bows are already on the pews. It has music, so you can walk in again to the wedding march if you wish. Every service is candlelight, and you get a souvenir booklet, which is a copy of the service personalized to take home, plus a certificate to say you've renewed your vows. And the fee is 150 is that Canadian? Everything's Canadian in Canada. <laughs> We're Anglican ministers, but uh, we don't just get the Anglican in here. We get Roman Catholics. Um, we get, uh, I've had Buddhists in here. I've had Jewish people in here. While Karen's concerned with sustaining the soul, June's concerned with sustaining the body. The only thing is, you see, you're supposed to warm the pot first, and I cheat, I don't do that but the water must be boiling. On a Saturday when we're busy, cup of tea keeps us going, you know. I'm not here to push God on you. If you want to talk about God or you need something else, I'm here for you. But if it bothers them that the cross is there, I will take the cross down for them. Um, I guess in my heart, I'm glad that people are still, think of marriage as, you know, a, a, the ultimate bond and, uh, they still want to do the institution of marriage, right? And that's wonderful. Get away from all this common law living. So I don't understand why people live in sin. While many people come to Niagara Falls to take their chances on marriage, 10 million others come to gamble at the new casino. Robbie Robertson, and I don't sing. <laughs> that other dude's trying to make a name for himself. <laughs> What's all this shit? Oh, that's supposed to be there? Who's watching Robbie all? Robertson trains many of the casino dealers. Probably well over half of my people could very easily be labeled losers. They're people that have kind of been on the outskirts all the time. They've never, for, for whatever reason, they've either dropped out of school or didn't do well in school. Uh, they don't do a good interview, who knows what, but they've worked in minimum paying jobs or no jobs, they've been in the system, they've been out of the system. By the time they get here, it's kind of like, well, I'm going to try this, but I know I won't be able to do it. You're damn right you won't be able to do it. I mean, you don't have to be a psychologist to, to recognize somebody with no self-confidence or no or very low self-esteem. And you just design the beginning of the program for success. Success isn't coming cheaply for one of Robbie's students, Lori Hoyes. $871. Do you want me? How much you got? I'll have to go work on the street. Okay. <laughs> I got some change. Will that help? No. Lori used to be a hairdresser, but for the past two years, she's been at home with her first child. Now, she's mm -hmm. anxious to get out of the house and find a paying job. You're short. It's only 180 it's 280 Oh, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> nice try. What, are you trying to save you going to the street? <laughs> Sorry about that. Laurie set herself four months to learn the four most popular games. Today, she starts the third game. Do you know poker hands? Not at all. That's why I wanted to start studying ahead of time. This hand beats this hand. 
This hand beats this hand and this hand. This hand beats this hand, this hand, this hand. This hand beats this, 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 this. This one beats it. That's the ranking of the poker hands. Could I photocopy this, please? You can have it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Behind on her schedule already, All Lori right. can only afford two more months of classes. Then she has to get a job. Well, She's hoping it'll that. be at the casino. When I've got my four games, my application is going in. You know, I set a deadline for myself. When I don't reach it, I get very angry with myself. Which, which isn't, yeah, I'm very hard on myself. I'm very hard on myself, but which is probably good in one way. But in another way, it's probably not good. George's tour is also operating on a schedule. Yeah, the group that wants to go down to the journey behind the falls, we're actually going to go behind the falls. Follow me. We're going to go quickly and we're going to get wet. So come on. Okay, it's very slippery. It's still a beautiful day in Niagara, but in Toronto, where Bruce Willis and the other stars will be picked up, the weather is deteriorating. Uh, the forecast for that time is uh, uh, generally marginal conditions. We're gonna get crapped out. My stomach is in about 5,000 knots at this point. For a person who is always, or pretty much a control freak like me, to be at the mercy of something like weather is, is hell, absolute hell. Because I have absolutely no control over God. Just this way. George's tour with the journalists is almost over. To the bus? Yes, Sorry. please, yeah. You know, when, when you have a, a tourist, it's, it's a different atmosphere. So this is a little tougher crowd. Would anybody like to tell me about the falls? Reactions to the falls themselves? First time reactions? Anybody want to volunteer a comment? Nobody has any opinion? You know, I, I've got to admit, you're a hard group to read. I don't know if you're having a good time or not. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Are you having a good time? But for Anna, a good time is getting harder to arrange. They canceled. Okay, now I get to call Shirley back and tell her to look at... Oh, my God. Bruce Willis is no longer coming by helicopter. He wanted a twin-engine aircraft and all kinds of lovely things. He's afraid he doesn't want... Hi, may I speak to Shirley, please? Hi, Shirley. They canceled <laughs> completely. They're coming over by car, so they're somebody else's problem now. Anthony. With Bruce Willis out of the picture, Anna has just four hours to get the other stars into the sky. At the gambling school, Lori's lessons are underway. She's keen to learn, but there are some things she just won't do. Watch. Give me your finger. Okay, that's way more than a full chip. Way too long. Okay, so I have scissors at the front. I don't think so. I will take care of this problem. You know how much these nails will cost me? Uh, you know how much it's going to cost you for me to cut them off? <laughs> Nothing. Are you confusing me with somebody that gives a damn? No. Nope. <laughs> you see, what happens is we almost have to make concessions that we shouldn't have to make. Because when their nails get long, okay, this is the proper way to cut a chip. Okay, just like this. So when their nails get long, they have a tendency to start cutting, well, not like that, kind of cutting chips sideways somehow, like this. See, now I could, I could wear nails like that and I could cut them. Okay. And she will be able to too after 30 years. See, right now you're really tentative on coming across because I mentioned it. No, 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 come on in, you're 
I'm done. I'm done. I just wanted to do it quick. You can Thank come you. and help vacuum. You. Of course you can. Oh, okay. The fifth bride of the day is piped into the tune of Scotland the Brave. For the groom, this may not be so appropriate. For better, for worse. <laughs> better, for worse. Okay, just go slow. Take it easy. Okay? okay? That's all right. Okay? Whenever you're ready. Okay? okay. All right. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. Okay, I will let Tina handle it. I, Tina. <laughs> I, Tina. Take you, Alan. Take you, Alan. To be my husband. To be my husband. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. Okay. It is now my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. And Alan, the moment you've been waiting for, <laughs> it's your lovely bride. <laughs> Very emotional, very emotional. All day I was fine. As soon as I seen her walk down the aisle, I couldn't contain myself, you know? It's beautiful. Beautiful thing I've ever seen. For Karen and June, the day is over, but tomorrow brings six more weddings. It's five o'clock and George is at home getting ready for something special. He's hoping tonight will be more fun than his day with the journalists. But first, he has a ritual to perform. I never used to shave my head until about two years ago. And then, uh, then I did this thing with, uh, with the police, you know, for, for uh, cancer. And I shaved it off and somebody said, well, doesn't look too bad, so I said, well, I'll keep it off. Every head has bumps. You've got to get to know where the bumps are. Because if you don't, it's a surefire recipe for trouble. See how fast that is? Just like peeling a lemon. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's a real good one. See that one? That's a, okay, I have to, that'll go away. It, uh, my hair, uh, I didn't have much hair there. And so I figured, well, I'll take it off. If I start losing friends because I start losing my hair, I don't want them as friends anyway. Say hello to Marilyn. Nice looking woman. I've got women all over the place. But tonight, George is going out with someone new. I met her, uh, oh, I guess a month ago at a film festival here in Niagara Falls. Nice lady, she's uh, very outgoing. Uh, I didn't uh, spend a lot of time with her, but uh, she seemed like a, Pretty nice gal, so I wrote her a little note and said it was nice meeting you, and then uh, I gave her a call, and uh, she said, yeah. George has been back on the dating scene since he separated from his wife two years ago. I think I'm looking for companionship and some fun. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's really what's high on my list right now, just have a little bit of fun, and uh, I'm having it, you know. And that doesn't mean Fun, fun. It means fun. Quick update. We have Steve Harris from the practice coming in. And Rudy's going to turn back around and go get Joshua Jackson from da Dawson's Creek. So that's going to be exciting too. And uh, now I'm just shaking with anticipation. It's not nervousness anymore. It's actually coming together, which is great. I'll be really happy if I get a big giant bear hug from Steve Harris. I'll be real happy. And then if Josh comes in too, I'll, I'll be even happier. You know, I think sometimes, you know, the kids of the day, they forget about this, you know. Ladies like flowers. Remember that, ladies like flowers. And uh, I like flowers too. You know, my dad used to say one time when he was live, he said, how old would you be if you didn't know how old you were? How old would you be if you didn't know how old you were? It's a good question to ask yourself once in a while. Because sometimes I'm a kid. Once in a while I'm an old guy. Sometimes I'm 55. But most times I'm a young guy. Elton John kissed this side. 
he can kiss this side. And I'll be even. I'm ready. Come on, Josh, I need that big hug. Thank you. Oh yeah, we got pictures. God. <laughs> Bruce is on stage already, so. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you very much. We'll see them tomorrow. Actually, I won't see them tomorrow because I'm taking the day. Oh. I got my hug. <laughs> I got my hug. And the 50,000 fans will get their stars. I think as you get a little older, you don't really get uh, get too nervous. I think uh, you just you're just ready. I'm just ready to go. But George will have to wait another couple of hours to see if he finds true love tonight. Next time, okay, no, George's date lights up the falls, oh, but does she light up his heart? Oh, yeah. My parents brought us here at Niagara Falls when I was a kid. So uh, this is very so what, a couple of years ago. Oh, yes, you're so sweet. Lori runs into trouble at school. I can take a lot, but once I'm pushed over the edge, boy, uh -uh. watch out. And meet one of Niagara Falls' other natural wonders. Three grams of mushrooms, two Prozac, I feel good. <laughs>